Hello everyone, welcome back to another FSD beta video. We are on 69.25.2. Let's see if it's gonna take this exit. Doesn't look like it, all right. So, uh, autopilot's degraded right now, just because of the sunlight. Uh, let's see if autopilot FSD beta is gonna uh, jump on over here. Here we go, and it's activated. FSD beta has a little bit more resistance against sunlight, just because it uses more cameras. I'm gonna give the windshield here a little, little, little bit of a wipe. So we are doing roundabouts today. Roundabouts supposedly are good. So let's see how it does this first one. All right. Wow, okay. This is not bad. Very prom. oh, cuts across the lane over here, just as we're saying that. <laughs> Why does it want to do that? All right, so. We did this test, I think, two versions before. Um, I'm gonna maximize the screen over here. Let's see how it does on this one. Well, there's, we don't really need to wait for traffic over here. Cro crosses again, the white lane, white line over here. Yeah, the, I'll correct it the next time, but I just wanted to see how it does it. Like, so, it passed both roundabouts. We didn't have really traffic on that, so um, yeah. So it's going to do okay with without traffic. With traffic, I think it'll start breaking and uh, acting a little bit weird. So yeah, we've got another, I think, two roundabouts and then we'll circle around and we'll do, yeah, we've got two more roundabouts over here, as you can see on the screen. We'll circle around and do the, the, the roundabouts on the other side, the other way around, so yeah. And if you haven't done yet, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel, it will help me a lot. I'm at 920 subscribers. I am so close to 1,000 subscribers, so I'm very, very excited about that. Ooh, cuts across the first lane over here. Does it very abruptly as well. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bump down the autopilot speed. I normally keep it at, oops, I normally keep it as um, at plus five kilometers an hour. Dear God. We go. I normally keep it as at plus five kilometers an hour when I'm driving by myself. Personally, I find that very uh, comfortable with this kind of conditions. It's kind of dry streets and the lanes are visible. But uh, as the visibility goes down and the lanes get covered with snow, I bump down the autopilot speed more and more. For testing purposes, I like to keep it at speed limit. So it's coming to a complete stop here. We really don't need to do that. I'm gonna give it a tap on the accelerator and it passes through stays within the lane excellent all right so yeah a lot of folks are reporting that roundabouts are pretty good right now with 69.25.1 um you know a lot of people are doing roundabout tests but most of them are single lane roundabouts and single lane to be honest you can't really mess up that much and fsd has been good at uh at single lane roundabouts for a while now uh but yes double lane that's where it's at that's where the money's at to be honest uh and then when you get some weird lane uh, lane marked roundabouts, I'm gonna correct it over here just to give it give back some some feedback to the FSD beta team. So yeah, it kind of goes out of the lane as you can see over there. So it still does that. Um, I feel like it's a little bit smoother than the the, the last time I came and tested these roundabouts. Uh, but yeah, I'll circle I'll circle around right now. We don't have any, I think any more roundabouts. I'm gonna circle around and go back the other way around and do the test again. So stand by. All right, so I've entered the destination to go back the same way. And we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five more roundabouts and we'll end the test over there. So very excited for version 11, supposed to be coming this week at the least uh, by next week. That's what Elon Musk has been saying, I think in his last tweet. So very excited, things are going to completely change. Uh, neural networks gonna be in the play for output uh, outputs to the car driving behavior. So um, if I can explain that maybe in my amateur way. Nice turn over here. Um, amateur way is probably whatever we see on the occupancy network um, right now is just for visualization but with the neural networks coming into play, 
we're going to see whatever is uh, the car seeing is going to impact the way the car behaves and the way the car drives so if there's dynamic situations where um you know uh, we're going to be able to see some sort of uh, uh something on the road that comes out of out of a sudden like all of a sudden like an animal or something the car is going to behave a little bit more differently so yes we're doing the same kind of mistake over here where we uh, choose cross the lane and that happened to me the last time as well so it's not very well we've got a car on my on my right over here so I'm being a little bit more cautious than the normal okay it does it very nice the car behind next to me is a little bit uh, um, uh, they're a little bit confused they don't know what's happening so um, they're giving me a little bit more space I wish they don't uh, regard like you know they disregard me and just just drive as normal just so that I can see how the car is actually gonna behave here we come to a next roundabout and the car uh, is still right next to me I don't want my car to be crossing lanes over here okay so it kind of sticks to this lane I was almost gonna overtake over there but it's stuck to its lane nice that's very good very good behavior okay so we're gonna come up here to an intersection and then we're gonna go across the bridge for the three or four more roundabouts so stand by all right so we're cutting across here to the lane to the turning a little bit of jerkiness here okay car is going to come to a complete stop so i'm going to give it a push so the other issue we had over here which was map related to be honest is that it used to stick to this lane which takes us to the to the exit from from here which i really don't want the car to do and it seems like it's going to do the same mistake again i'm going to give it a little bit of more time to correct itself it doesn't seem like it's going to do it so i'm going to take over over here and then signal and change lanes and then engage back again so here we are coming up to this roundabout on the top of the bridge switches lanes over here comes to a complete stop again which is disappointing so I'm going to give it a tap over here a little bit of an acceleration goes into the to the right lane slows down a lot half its speed does the turn and exit smoothly okay that's that's okay I guess I just had to give it a tap at the beginning because we have to yield in a situation like that but we only yield like if there's and we have to come to a stop if there's cars coming into the roundabout so since the roundabout is clear I wanted to drive into the roundabout and not stop so this one is a difficult situation it has to cross lanes or does it do it oh man almost oh man I really really hope was hoping that it can do that one that one's a very edge case to be honest like coming out of the roundabout you have to switch lanes to the right and it's also within the roundabout so it's kind of confusing to be honest it's not really well marked uh, from uh, off the bat so you know I don't really blame FSD better but it should like slow down and change lanes to be honest but you know that's just asking so much enters the roundabout very smoothly over here Ooh, and cross to the other lane and I don't want it to do that let's see if it comes out over here comes out nicely and it really wants to change lanes I don't understand the concept behind it yeah it, it's almost like it's trying to exit from a passing lane or something like that which is very very weird all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in over here and circle around we'll do two more roundabouts and we'll probably uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set us up actually to do a three-quarter roundabout so just to mix things up I don't want to redo the whole roundabouts again because we've seen how it does that it does a lot of lane changing within the roundabout so uh, so I'll set us up for that and I'll tune us back in okay so here we go we're gonna do these few roundabouts over here and then we're gonna do a three-quarter roundabout just after the bridge so enters over here very nicely please don't change lanes okay 
it still does it. I corrected it and it goes out and then it changes lanes again. All right. So, okay, we're, we're slowing down here. I'm gonna correct it because it's going out of the, the lane and I don't want it to do that since there's a car behind me. That was, that was partly my fault, to be honest. Okay, nice acceleration taking us out of the out of the roundabout. Wants to change lanes over here. No, it doesn't. It's very confused. This one should be easy. Ah, uh, yeah. We're getting too close to the curb. I don't want to risk it. Yeah, I know it's a little bit of an unfair test for FSD beta, but uh, but yeah, you know what? Like it should be able to start doing these um, if we need we need it to be if if it's like it's a public beta, so we we, sh we really should be able to be do to do roundabouts. So I'm quite surprised that we still have these issues with roundabouts. Um, yeah, let's see if it comes to a complete stop and does this turn over here and then we have our final roundabout where we're gonna do our three-quarter turn as you can see here on the map so again if you haven't done so please like my video and please subscribe to my channel it'll be very interesting to see how and it does this weird thing again where it, I want to correct it to be honest go back to the same lane it shouldn't really cut across a lane over there. So, okay, we're coming up. And if you haven't done so, please like and subscribe to my video. Thank you very much. Subscribe to my channel as well. Thanks so much. So here we are. We're coming up to this three-quarter roundabout. All right. And that truck wants to commit, seems like. <laughs> I mean, the car was trying to stop, but I just wanted to wanted to brake faster all right so here we are coming into the roundabout there's a car on that side and we can see it's highlighted in blue and the car stops I'm gonna give it a tap over here okay enters slows down for that car I want to give it a push here that wasn't good yeah interesting all right well there you have it a three-quarter roundabout it did it safely i would say which is the minimum requirement here which is what we're really looking for minimum but yeah uh, other than that still roundabouts need a lot of work especially double double uh lane roundabout i think single lane roundabouts were kind of there to be honest i'm not uh I wouldn't be surprised if we're not there because uh, all the single lane roundabouts that I've been through, there were no issues at all. All right, so thanks everyone for watching and please subscribe to my channel so that I can hit that thousand subscribers and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Have a nice day.